off into the great wide beyond, actually, to space. Uh, the final frontier, Andrew Lound is here, astronomer and space expert. I'll tell you why. Uh, because two NASA astronauts are stuck in space, which sounds very worrying, doesn't it? Um, Andrew, very good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. This is the testing of, of Boeing's new spacecraft. They call it the Starliner. Right. And their spacecraft is to be produced by Boeing to commercially take astronauts into space uh, for the Ameri Americans or anybody else. Yes. If you like, it's a bit of a rival to the Dragon. Okay. And it's gone up there, but it's got problems with its reaction control thrusters mm. and uh, helium leaks. And the astronauts are having to stay up there longer on the space station while they um, do work rounds and checks to make sure the, the vehicle is actually safe itself. Mm. The astronauts aren't in any danger. There's plenty of resources on board the space station. Plus, also, there is a Dragon capsule right. dock to it, so they could come back. But it's an interesting thing for Boeing from a commercial point of view that they have some issues with their brand-new spacecraft. Yeah, when I saw this story, I must admit, I, all I could think of was Interstellar, you know, that movie where the guys <laughs> go up into space and then they come back and they're behind a cupboard because they've gone into the wrong dimension. You know, I mean, I know that's probably unlikely to happen in this case, but, you know, um, it's, well, I mean, I, I wouldn't like to be stuck up in space. I'll tell you what. Well, yeah, it's, it's quite interesting when you, you talk about people deciding they don't want to do the job, they want to do a three-day wake. Well, here's astronauts, you've got to go with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they can't <laughs> you know, clock they, off sorry, up there, It is what they? it is. You deal with it, <laughs> uh, which I think is how it should be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, they're fine. I mean, these are, I mean, the idea is to test the spacecraft out, so they're quite yeah. comfortable being up there and, and they'll have plenty of work to do mm. as they try to work out the issues and boeing have said there isn't any risks to the spacecraft coming back but of course you would like to have all of your thrusters working uh, perfectly well if you can when you're coming back and there's enough helium in the tanks apparently to to actually allow the systems to operate properly mm. but the leaks must be slightly concerning but it does mean that when it comes back there'll be upgrades immediately done to actually repair the issues but of course that was the nature of the mission anyway right. to test the whole thing out to see what works and if you don't you put it right in the same way dragon spacecraft was done in the same way it's now operating perfectly and the same way spacex tests it's a very large rocket of course step-by-step right. -step process right and it says here that they could if necessary stay docked to the international space station for 72 days but i mean aside yeah. from testing whatever it is they're testing on this particular boeing craft what else are they doing Oh, yes, there's other work they could actually do. They've got, they can assist on a couple of spacewalks that need to be done on the space station anyway, so they can be the extra hands and eyes working within uh. the spacecraft. The medical people will love extra astronauts on board because they can do some more tests on them right. to see how they cope with the environment. Um, so, yes, there's plenty for them to do up there. And the space station has generally been um, not as crude as many people on, on it as they really would like. Right. It, Originally, they said they could like to, up to have to 10, 10, 12 people on it. It's never, ever got that many people. So there's plenty of work they can do with general maintenance, assisting with scientific experiments and medical work on themselves, yeah. of course. So, well, maybe when they yeah. get back, they can do a few shifts in the GP surgery because they've obviously got the great work <laughs> ethic that we're so sadly lacking on uh, down in, on flat earth, as, as we like to call it. Andrew Lamb, thank you very much indeed.